Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm DJ Sixsmith. Welcome to Sit Down the Stand, coming to CBS All Access. Henry Zaga, Brad, William, Henke. Fellas, what's up? How are you? Great. How are you? Good, man. Can't complain. How are you? I am in a good spot. I'm really excited about the show. Brad, why don't we start with you, man? Uh, first of all, I love the Christmas tree back there. And <laughs> oh, second, thank you. Uh, this is a show that people have been excited about for a long time. We are in a pandemic. It's about a pandemic. It's trippy. So what was the coolest part of the experience? Um, the coolest part of the whole experience was just working. I, I mean, it's the best acting experience that I've ever had just because all the other actors were so into it. And you don't always have a chance to be, work with great actors, great writing, you know, just a great huge production. Yeah, it was just, it was just, it was just amazing. And, and, and honestly, like most of my scenes were with, with Henry and it was just so great to work with him because he just came at such a high level that it just, it just uh, rose, rose my level and I just made the experience so much better. Same, That's man. really awesome to hear. Henry, how about for you, man? You spent a lot of time with Brad, but what stands out the most about this experience? Truly what Brad just said is my experience in a nutshell too. It was the most rewarding and amazing experience in my acting life so far. It's, you know, uh, from the amazing cast, but also just to dive into a character that has so much to, to offer in a world that shows so much hostility to him. And it's just like, it, it just brought me inside out in, in, in a way that I was like, wow, there's so much in this human experience that I still don't understand, but this character just opened my eyes to so many things. Uh, and regardless of a pandemic, that would have been too. It's just like, you know, um, I guess from cast and crew and from character, empathy. I think we're also living through a, a beautiful time in, you know, in Hollywood or, you know, in general, that empathy towards uh, minorities is just, it's, it's important to such a way that you can never ignore it again. And it's, it's exciting to see, you know? Yeah. I mean, empathy is a really powerful word and a really important word. And Brad, you just heard Henry's really specific experience there when it comes to you and your character. Why do you think this show will resonate? And, you know, what stands out the most to you about the character that you portrayed? Well, I think that uh, my character uh, has so much heart and it has never felt, I never felt like I belonged anywhere or that I was accepted anywhere. And I was accepted uh, by, by Nick and accepted by, uh, by the people in the town. And, and, and for my character, that's the first time in my life that I didn't feel like I didn't belong. And so just just their kindness to me and their acceptance to me uh, kind of, uh, I feel like woke up my spirit because before I was just, everyone was so mean to me all the time that it, it, it just, uh, it, um, th 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 this was just like, oh my God, I love these people. They're so kind to me and I would do anything for them. And so it really brought a loyalty to them because they, they gave so much to me. You both speak to the fact that sometimes it takes extraordinary circumstances to change the way that people behave. And we're kind of dealing with that in 2020. So Henry, when you think about this show, you know, for the people that may not, you know, be the nicest to their neighbor or may judge other people, how will this show kind of help them to, to de-layer and just open up a little bit more? I think again, like let's hit on that empathy key, you know, cause it's like, it exposes the the good and bad in people when no one's watching right i think that's the play on the stand like no one's truly a hundred percent good or a hundred percent bad it's like all these shades in between that's like that makes us human but also uh you know tom and nick are characters that have so much potential and you you find them in the you know in, in the beginning of the book in the beginning of the show how how hostile the world's been to them and then when the table turns, it's like they, they're the leaders of Boulder and they are going on this, this crazy mission to Vegas. And, you know, I think it just shows to the world that's watching, awaken your potential by, you know, and, and awaken other people's potential by showing empathy. You know, maybe they don't know how worthy they are of changing other people's lives, you know? It's I think that's what's powerful about the stand, yeah. 
I love it. Henry, Brad, nice to meet you both. Best of luck and thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jay. You too.